Yet again, I've proven that my homemade, cheap, eco-friendly cleaning products are better than, ironically, what most of us keep under the kitchen sink. I've done the hard work so you don't have to, and to learn how to clean your kitchen sink and pretty much everything else in your home for free, hit that subscribe button and keep watching. I am going to try two products with this. I'm going to try baking soda and vinegar on this section, and I'm going to try my homemade washing soda on this section, and then I'm going to compare the two. I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to make a scour with the washing soda here and scrub the sink out, and I'm going to do the same up here with the vinegar and baking soda, and we'll see how it goes. I've got my homemade washing soda here. If you want to know how to make this, I've linked a video at the end of this one that will teach you how to make this. It's free, and you make it with baking soda. I'm just going to put a little bit of water that has a drop of dish soap in it and scrub it around. I can already see this working really well. I own a cleaning product distribution business, so I know a thing or two about cleaning products and I know a thing or two about cleaning product ingredients. And washing soda, believe it or not, is one of the key ingredients in washing powder for your washing machine. Now washing soda has a pH of about 11.8, which is quite strong. So when you make a scrub, it's really super effective. Let's just get this out of the sink, down the drain and see what this bit of the sink looks like, you can already tell, it's looking great. Now, my plug hole, I reckon this is going to respond really well to vinegar. So our baking soda has a pH of about 8, and my homemade washing soda has a pH of about 11.5. So let's put some of the washing soda on the plug hole, and we'll pour some vinegar on that now in a second. And we'll put some vinegar on the baking soda at the same time. Let's just put... This is just normal vinegar. You can see it fizzing a little bit in the sink. That's after getting rid of nearly all of that brown. It's much more steel looking. Now let's try the baking soda and vinegar. Now what's actually happening is, as soon as I put the vinegar on the baking soda, the baking soda is gonna release its carbon dioxide and it's going to form carbonic acid and then it's gonna turn into water. The main benefit that we're getting here is the scrub characteristics. So, this is taken like I don't know, five minutes, less. I've scrubbed everything down, and now it's time to get rid of the residue. There's not really much difference between the baking soda side. And the washing soda side. Not as far as I can tell, anyway. Looking pretty good from where I'm standing. Quite proud of this bit. The secret to not having any spots and streaks, by the way, is to buff everything dry with a clean microfiber. And you don't wash your microfibers with fabric softener because fabric softener is an oil and the microfibers will then wipe oily residue all over everything. So we don't use fabric softener to wash our microfibers. So buff everything dry, as I say. I would call that Pretty decent success. Can't really see much of a difference between our washing soda and our baking soda. But the biggest thing to remember with those two products is that it's actually the scrubbing and scouring action of them as opposed to the pH that's going to get everything clean. So next, I'm now going to supercharge my mixture and try it all out in my bathroom. 